everyone. Uh, this is Arthur from Storewall. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you another installation that we're doing above a bench this time, as you can see here. Um, basically, we're installing heavy-duty panels this time. So most of our installations so far have been standard-duty. This is a heavy-duty panel. Um, this is a brick wall. These bricks are solid bricks. Um, and what I'm basically doing is doing two heavy duty panels along the bottom, about 90 mils up from the, the bench top um, across, so 4.8 meters across uh, from end to end. And at the end of the section, there's going to be a taller area for some of the gardening equipment. So that'll go three panels up. Now, the difference, I want to also show you the difference between heavy duty and standard duty and just kind of um, demonstrate it a little bit. So these are, these are your heavy duty panels. They are slightly wider and heavier as far as those panels, as, sorry, these are your heavy duty install strips um, compared to your standard duty install strips. So you can see the two here, there's the difference. Um, so I'm lining them up against each other. So there's a, there's a difference in the width the slight difference in the, I suppose, the, the, the thickness is the same, um, but the width is different, as you can see there. Um, it's probably an extra 10 mils, 7, 8, 12, 12 mils uh, on each of the install strips uh, between the heavy and the standard duty install strip here. And if I show you the panel itself as well, you can also see that there's differences in the panel too. So what I've got here in the grey is your heavy duty panel and then you've got the standard duty in the bright white here so I'm going to put them up against each other you have to see a little more about the differences here as well they're very similar sh same shape so they're both designed to latch onto the install strip but you can see that there is a slight difference it's a couple of mils in thickness uh, between the heavy and the standard but you can also see that this area here, where the latching kind of happens, is also a lot thicker in the heavy duty. It also allows for a, a slight small dowel to go between the panels when you're joining them um, to allow it to, to basically make a, a clean flush join. Now we're not gonna, well we might have a go at looking at, at, at using this, but we're also gonna use a joining trim today to kind of put the two panels together. Um, but this is a, a quick demonstration between the heavy and the standard duty. As you can see, what we've done here across this 4.8 metre section, I've basically done a have one more install strip to go in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine install strips along that 4.8 um, metre section. So it's pretty much every five odd hundred I've put an install strip, a heavy duty install strip. And as I said, there'll be one more in the middle here and there'll be uh, one more at the end there. So we'll, we'll hang these and we'll show you what it looks like at the end. Uh, and see how Just we continue on with the installation. We've finally laid it. Um, you can see here we've used the joining trim in the middle. I haven't glued it in, but I just have to put something there. Um, so I've cut around the uh, power points here. Now these are box power points. I'll just cut around them and just to also note that these panels um, are 381 millimeters in height as opposed to 304 which is the standard duty you can see the other power point there cut a little bit higher on this edge here um, because of you know there's doing some gardening equipment on that side yeah so uh, basically every 450 or so I had a, an install strip um, along here. So these are the heavy duty panels and, and the installation we did with primarily these plugs because that gives more amperage is what we used. The installs, um, okay.